I'm Warren Davis, and you're watching The Evercade Effect. Evercade Effect. Welcome, fellow Evercadians and rich enthusiasts. You are watching The Evercade Effect, and this is Ed, also known as Retro Kill-9. All right. So, now that I've really gotten to play Pico Arcade 1 for the last two weeks, oh yeah, I wanted to do an update video. And if you haven't seen my initial impressions video, I'll throw a card up here somewhere and down in the description below. Make sure you watch that because I go through and play all the games. If you have already watched that, I think you're going to like this because this is a, you know, now I can be, I can be a little bit more subjective now that I got to spend some time versus just my initial thoughts. So without further ado, let's just, let's just dive into this. Let's talk about all the games and everything else here. All right. So my VS... And I'm just going to go in order, and we're going to talk a little bit about each of these games, and you can see my play times and whatnot. So, Burglar X, and you'll see here my play time is only is only 20 minutes. It's not as it's not as long as some of the other games, and I'll, you'll you'll see here in a moment. But I have played this game enough to know that I, I love it. I mean, as I said before. Uh, my initial impressions that you know, what other game has a fart button? I mean, it's fantastic, and it's actually useful. And the graphics are this kind of coolish 3D, and I I, I, re I really dig it. And of course, you can throw bombs, and then also like, whoosh, whoosh, hit things with your hammer. I really like it. It's still a, a fun kind of yeah. It's a maze, I guess, more more than a puzzler, but it, it's it's really neat though. I, I've uh, gotten uh, you know several levels into it, and and it's still it's still really fun. Um, probably, I'm, I'm thinking this is probably maybe like a 45 or so minute game, so probably halfway through, as most of these games you can beat in just under an hour. But yeah, I love it. Definitely one of those weird games. Totally worth it for the cart. And um, let's move on. <laughs> Diver Boy. Okay. Diver Boy, <laughs> I have some interesting things to say about this game. So yeah, this one you can see I played for nearly an hour and 20 minutes. Invested a lot of time into it and i'll say this the game at first is very very fun i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna kid you around uh you can see by the load count of the save states that uh <laughs> i've uh i've played it uh not in one not in one session okay let me do this and you can see my save state count is 35 i think that's an i think that's important to uh, to show, uh, to give you an idea of how long, you know, kind of how hard the game is, <laughs> how many sessions. So, yeah, and I'll tell you why. So the game is really fun at first, and I want to say, ah, maybe about halfway through the game. So when, uh, no pun intended, the game starts to jump the shark, and I'll, and I'll tell you specifically what it, it does to you, <laughs> is when you fight this octopus boss, right? So this red octopus comes on the screen, has one eye, kind of sticking out, and you have to hit it at the exact angle. As a matter of fact, it's nearly impossible to hit it without dying yourself. And once you get past that point, you get the feeling that the developers that made this game really never expected anybody to get that far. But they had to make a full game of it, but they punish you for getting that far. And it is just gruelingly difficult. And, you know, and, what, and what I mean by that is... There'll be enemies that just ride your ass. They're on top of the cave. It's it's so difficult to just jump down and pick up a clam <laughs> without dying. And then after a certain time, this like devil comes by and gets you and takes another life. It's just I, I couldn't do it all in one you know one or two sittings. Uh, with this particular game, it's like I said, it's fun halfway through. I'm just I'm glad I completed it. This would be one I would maybe jump in, jump back out from the earlier levels. I don't know if I would do an extra playthrough because uh, it gets. It, the frustration just outweighs the fun. <sighs> Alright. So, Dragon Master, and I'm going to be honest with you on this one. You see, I've only played four minutes. Play count one. Save count one. This just really feels like the poor man, the poor man Street Fighter 2. It's an eating concept. I know it's maybe supposed to maybe be one of the main games from this company. But to be honest, I had no desire to go back and play this game after I did my initial impressions. Just because... All the other games on this cart, maybe the exception of two more that you'll see, are better than this. I was just like, eh, but you know, actually I found myself just playing the built-in Capcom collection of the EXP and going to Street Fighter 2. With that said, if you like this game, that's fine. I just think this is a very lackluster fighting game. 
it just wasn't worth my time to go through and look at the special moves. Yeah, when I played it, I was able to, you know, do like some uh, fireball, like Hadoukens and uh, fireballs and stuff. But yeah, this game, if any, if, if anything, kind of gets a thumbs down. While the other, while the other ones get a thumbs up, I'd have to say this one kind of gets a thumbs down. It's just, it's really just not for me. I got, yeah, you know, I skipped this. Didn't want to spend any time with it. Now, Fancy World, Earth of Crisis. As you can see with this one, uh, 45 minutes, play, you know, load count 7, play count 7. So yeah, I, uh, I really enjoyed this. A lot of, lot of save states are necessary. But I, uh, I didn't play this all in one setting. Uh, however, I just had fun jumping in, jumping out. I really enjoyed this. Okay, this is like your Snow Bros, Tumble Pop style game. Two thumbs up, very enjoyable. Uh, there are bosses. I know I may have said my initial impressions there weren't. I just didn't play uh, far enough. But, um, yeah, this one is, is definitely uh, worth your time if you like that type of type of game. And unlike Diver Boy, the difficulty doesn't get so impossible. It, it scales really, really well. I really I really love this game. One of the ones worth it for the cart. Double thumbs up. Um, totally super excellent. And then on that, uh, Magic Purple, again, very similar, very similar game, but a different feel. I beat it just under 45 minutes. And you can see by my save count, actually... This one, um, I played in fewer sessions. I don't know if that means I enjoyed it more. I didn't realize there was like a double jump in the beginning. But yeah, this one has really great bosses. It, again, if, if you love your Bubble Bobbles and your Tumble Pop type games, this was just fantastic. I really love this. Uh, you know, lo loads of fun here. And then let's go ahead and go down. Oh, Masters Fury. And I'm saving the best for last. So this game, you could I only played it for, for two minutes. Didn't even bother to do any save states. I'm um, being honest, I only played it since my initial impressions. And this game, yeah, this this is this is one of this is a definite stinker. While um, I can't remember names, I'm sorry. Well, Dragons Master, I could see going maybe going back to this again for something different, but I wouldn't say it's a it's a it's a it's a stinker. Uh, Master's Fury, totally just not interested, not fun. This one, I would say, is a, is a stinker. Um, nice attempt, but again, you could play Street Fighter or something else better. Interesting that it, it comes out later. With that said, if you like this, more power to you. Not for me. Two thumbs down. Not. I, I don't think it's worth your time at all. It wasn't worth my time. <laughs> all right. Uh, Steel Force. <sighs> this game is. This game is very, very interesting. So I kind of expected uh, initially when I was playing uh, like the Alien uh, uh, Resurrection games or whatever off the Team 17 card, I kind of expected them to be more like this overhead uh, type of a game. Uh, so I quite enjoyed this. Uh, tons of save counts. You can see I, I beat this in just a few sessions, almost 40 minutes. So this game, it wasn't horrible. It wasn't the greatest. I'd put it there in the middle. The bosses were, were pretty easy, and you're just kind of running through the levels. But you know what? It's kind of that game where you just want to like go through the zone and just kind of like zone out and play it again. Nothing super special. Definitely not. Um, I wouldn't call it crap. Then on the bottom, um, maybe a thumbs up, thumbs down. But yeah, this was a this, you know this is this is pretty enjoyable, and I could maybe see revisiting it in the future when I just wanted to play kind of play through the type of thing. Like I said, I'm saving the best for last. Uh, ultimate tennis i really don't think is an ultimate you can see i played it once no save states I, again this is another one that i played during my first initial impressions and i really liked so many of the other games I, I couldn't bring myself to go back to this it's a very lackluster tennis game yeah i guess if you like tennis uh, i've seen on discord a lot of people too didn't really like it with the controls it is kind of weird to serve uh you know yeah, definitely two thumbs down this is definitely a, a throwaway game in my opinion all right and now the best freaking game on the cart and maybe the best arcade beat em up that we have so far at the time of recording this in the entire arcade collection the legend of silk road so i absolutely love this game this is a fantastic beat em up you can see the three play count i just <laughs> I, I i beat it i played all the way through it uh did you need to use a lot of save states i could see playing this and maybe, you know, challenging myself to the nine credits, but yeah, I really, I really love this. This, this was so much fun. The characters, the graphics, the moves, 
Uh, it's, it's a quick 40-minute 40, 40 playthrough, but definitely worth it. And I can see going back and playing it again. Um, this one definitely gets, if I could do three thumbs up, I would give it that my favorite game. I, in my opinion, the best game on the cart. I absolutely, absolutely love this. All right, so now that I've gone ahead and kind of talked about everything here, let me go ahead and uh, do wraps up, wrap up bleh, <laughs> final thoughts on this collection. Oh, right, yeah. So, so looking at this in my uh, initial impressions, I said that this cart was worth it to get. I still think it's worth it to get. Out of all the games, there's only three, ah, only three ones. Well, we have nine games. <laughs> Helps I can count numbers. Nine games, six solid titles. Uh, definitely five really good titles uh, you know, on this. The fifth one just maybe being average. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And, and again, I, I, I say this a lot during Evercast, and, and I mean it. I enjoy these uh, these arcade games uh, because either you have unlimited quarters or with save states, you, you, can, you can play through it. And it's going to be a good time. And in most cases, with the exception of Diver Boy, you're not committing to over an hour. Usually it's under an hour. Th about 45 minutes you know, seems, to be the, seems to be the average time it takes to beat one of these games. And I just love it. It's a great experience. Uh, I've also mentioned before that in 2023, a big disappointment. We've only gotten two arcade carts. It was just this and the Topolin 2 collection. Come on, please. We need more arcade carts next year. Give us that. Give us more indie. So, yeah. Uh, this is definitely one that will get more play. I'll be coming back to it. I love it. you got to pick it up if you don't have it. Um, so, yeah. Those are my those are my thoughts after having Pico Collection for two weeks. Uh, go ahead and comment below. I love to get a conversation going. Let me know. Did you pick up this cart? Do you agree with my assessments or maybe... Some of those other games that I gave two thumbs down you didn't like, or some of the ones I gave two thumbs up, you know, maybe maybe those are really stinkers. And if you happen to find me through the YouTube verse, I would really appreciate if you would like, if you would subscribe. We're so close to a thousand subs. This channel is dedicated to Evercade content, where I give my first impressions on the new carts and everything Evercade related. We do a weekly podcast called Evercast. So, thank you so much. I will now uh, sign out. And again, a big shout out to my channel members.